think it was in the Rose Garden where I issued this brilliant statement. If I had a magic wand, but the president doesn't have a magic wand, you just can't say, low gas. And the great thing about our system is it is the consumer that drives our system. It's the individual American and, it's, and, and their collection that end up driving the economy. And he literally says, you know, I don't have a magic wand. I mean, it's, it, he's an advertisement for the uselessness of government. Yeah. And in a sense, you know, the figure of George Bush is this sort of laughable, inept, you know, uneducated sort of president, you know, is the embodiment of this idea that government doesn't matter, that it can't do anything. So but speak directly to the president's line that it's consumers that run our economy, that it's up to consumers to have more confidence. That was Phil Graham's line. Bairavi, what how do you see <laughs> I mean, if, if you can't, if you don't earn enough money in order to put food on your table, you know, how are you supposed to consume luxury items? You know, I think that, you know, being a consumer is one side of the coin. But being a working person who earns enough income to be a consumer is the other part of the equation that, you know, oftentimes, you know, people like Bush miss out on. But one thing I wanted to say is that, you know, from an organizing point of view, the, one of the um, obstacles that a crisis brings about is um, people often retreat into their individual emergencies. And, you know, when you're literally having to return to the bank or go on the unemployment line or try to find ways of cutting back and, you know, um, putting food on that table, it's very hard to, put, to bring about the time to go to a protest or to go to an organizing meeting. And oftentimes people become incredibly hopeless. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and also one of the dangers of, of capitalism is it is a crisis ridden economic system. And so people are often under the impression that you can just kind of write it mm. out and you'll be able to get over it. One well, piece. Can yeah. I yeah. quickly, Jeff, and then I want to come back to the Th Naomi. This thing about consumers is the height of hypocrisy. You can't go tell consumers you run the country, spend your money after they are so indebted after they're they can't pay their mortgages. Let's just remind and, and people what the average amount of indebtedness is. You have I, statistic. I, I think it's something remember. like eighteen thousand dollars. But remember the, crazy the like typical that. the 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 median wage, the typical wage for a, a, a full time worker is only thirty seven or thirty eight thousand dollars a year. To tell people the consumer rules when there have been no wage increases during this expansion at a time when corporate profits reached records and productivity went up. Uh, it, it, it's hypocritical, it's callous, and uh, maybe it's the last mm. gasp of a president who wants to leave office and go home.